Hello, Raphael. Your presence here fills me with hope. Boy, am I glad to see you, Master Splinter. Do you know what happened to Michelangelo or Leonardo? I don't know what became of them, I'm afraid. Wherever they are, I trust they'll eventually find their way to us. They can take care of themselves, I know, but I still worry. Your brothers are lucky to have you, Raphael. I believe congratulations are in order, my child. Oh, yeah, that fight was intense. But that crummy villain was no match for my ninjutsu, Master Splinter. You must continue to train hard to ensure victory in your next encounter as well. Hopefully, we'll all be able to return home soon. No matter what one knows, a place like this proves that there is always something new to learn. All the training in the world is of little use if one cannot adapt to the unexpected. by stealing Manny's belt. I felt really bad. But Manny got his belt back and forgave me. I'd rather devote my life to rock and roll than crime fighting anyway.
like cupcakes and taquitos and tacos and tuna. Wait, you know what else? I got chocolate bubble gum. Finish! you on Hit! 
What's going on with you? You weren't glowing like that before. Don't tell me. So, you think you have it figured out, do you? Why don't you think about it some more, just to make sure? But while you're figuring things out, let's have some fun, shall we? Uh... Listen closely. There's not much time. Vlad's machine. I can fight its effects for brief moments, but the longer I remain outside the timeless star dial, the worse it gets. It won't be long until I lose myself completely. I need you to... Return to the timeless star dial and stay there until the end of your days. Your fate is sealed. Forget it. I'm going home and there's nothing you can do to stop me. The universe is doomed and there is nothing you can do about it. Give up and return to the timeless star dial. I won't say it again. Defy me and you'll start a fight you could never win. Great! Now we have another ghost to fight! That goat's all mean to my master! He's not nice to see him! I seen it! That goat's is bad! Look and shout! Taco, taco, taco! Hey. Finish! scared of that ghost, but he just looks lonely to me. Hmm, I wonder if he and Satana would get along. They're both sort of not alive, so they have that in common. Later! Finish! Hmm. <laughs> 
for me, will ya? Nice shot. Finish! Before I'll beat you again, Shredder. Soon I will be unstoppable. This time, Raphael. But you know, I always rise to challenge you again. No matter what you do, I will always beat you, Shredder. You can count on that. Take this! Finish!
finish! like you did with the others. If you weaken me enough to return to the timeless star dial, there may yet be hope. Whatever you do, do not listen to anyone but me. Yet you still defy me. I warned you, now you'll get what you asked for, a fight. Which is perfectly fine with me. I'll still win, but from what I've seen, you'll be a worthy enough opponent. When you are ready to challenge me, come to my lair, if you dare. Oh, I'll be coming for you, all right. I won't make you wait too long. This 
wonderful item has your name on it. Looking sharp. How very discerning of you. Almost as good as a cabbage. Enjoy! Great for all Good occasions! Luck. Finish! Want to know a secret? Vlad's mind control device was flawed in two ways. One small, and one, well, very, very big. Here's the small one. It doesn't actually control minds, but simply replaces their personality with an angry, aggressive one. So it's not like he could build some conquering army or anything. In fact, he had no real control over whoever was affected by his machine. Take me, for example. I have no compulsion to serve Vlad Plasmius, and I've grown rather fond of smashing things and people and such. You've had a taste of that, so you know how wonderful that feeling is. Dude, you want to shake that mind control mumbo jumbo or what? Quit with the fighting and come back to the star dial. Nonsense. Not while we're in the middle of non-stop fun. You see, Vlad's machine had a big flaw that caused it to blow up, destroying the entire universe. So much fun to watch. And I can simply rewind time and watch it over and over forever. And each time, just before it does, you'll be sent back to the timeless star dial so we can battle all over again. An endless battle right on the edge of total oblivion. Oh, how exciting. Whoa, you're seriously messed up, dude. Think what you want, sticks and stones. Now it's time for battle. Prepare. 
prepare yourself. So scared you have to cheat to win, huh? You can't be surprised. I am the bad guy after all. Let's continue. Are you ready? Not celebrate until we're safely back at the timeless star dial. Come. Recent memories are patchy at best. The only time I was truly myself was when we spoke here at the Timeless Star Dial. But as soon as I wandered beyond this pocket dimension, the other me hijacked my mind. A result of being exposed to Vlad Plasmius's machine when I tried to disable it. It destroyed the universe, something my evil self came to enjoy witnessing time after time. Why didn't you say something earlier? Let's just say that at the beginning of our journey, it might have been a little TMI. 
You succeeded anyway, as I'd foreseen. When I was myself, of course. Vlad's machine has been destroyed, and everyone has been freed of its influence. And it won't destroy the universe either. All of this was thanks to you. And now, you may return home. This portal will send you back home. The time medallion I gave you, however, will remain here when you go, and you will lose any slime powers you have acquired. Sadly, you will also lose your memories of me, the timeless star dial, and all of your adventures here. This is to ensure these terrible events cannot repeat themselves. You may return home at your leisure. Meanwhile, you are welcome to remain here as long as you wish. And I'd be willing to spar with you as well before you leave. It'd be a friendly battle, but don't expect it to be an easy one. Ha, ha, ha.